Hello, beautiful people of the universe. This is Nat, and you are watching Pep Talk. And today we're going to talk about New Year's, New Year's resolutions, and all of that jazz that everybody's talking about right now. Um, I didn't make any notes, so this is going to be very organic, very nutritional. Um, you're welcome. This is the start of your New Year's diet. Just kidding. You don't have to go on a diet. You're beautiful. Um, okay, so yeah, so I had a bit of a hard time getting into this topic um, just because, like, uh, you know, I, I've just been thinking so much about the new year, what I expect, you know, from it for myself. I've been thinking a lot about this past year and what it meant to me. And honestly, this past year for me was a bit of a doozy. It was a big guy. It was, like, not one that I really would want to do over again. You know, if I was given that option, I think I'd had to, I would have to pass. Yeah, I would have to pass on that. Um, you know, it was good for, for that beautiful thing that we call personal growth. There was a lot of personal growth this last year and that hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, but I'm the better for it. So in the long run, it's good, but uh, not sure I would do that again. And, uh, I really hope this next year isn't going to be more of the same. That's my, that's where my train of thought is right now is I'm like, ah, uh, you know, because I think like, I think a lot of the times we view life as like a giant etch -a sketch. And so all year we're just, you know, drawing our pictures and, and we can't do anything about it. You know, you can't go back on etch a sketch. You just have to keep going if, and keep with the picture. And, and some of it's terrible and some of it's okay. And, and you just keep going, 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 going. January 1st, we think of as the day where we get to shake out that etch a sketch and start all over again. You know, it's a brand new opportunity at life. And I think that I've just been realizing how naive that view is of, of our lives and just just how a lot of the things that I'm, I'm dealing with right now, they're long-term things. They're things that they're not going to go away and I'm just going to have to keep muscling through. And so that's, I have two things that I want to talk about. And the first one is just about those long-term things that you're going to deal with. Um, that aren't going to magically go away with the new year. And, and the thing about those things, the thing about those really hard long-term things, um, is that they're going to bog you down sometimes, but you can't let them, you can't let them do that to you long-term. They're going to get you. They're going to get you for sure. For sure, at least a couple times, at least. But every time they get you down, you you have to muscle your way back up, back to the top. That's what you have to do. Um, so that's the long-term depressing part that I'm going to talk about. The second part, which is more optimistic, is um, talking about the things you can change. Because there is a lot of things that you, you can change in your life, you know? Um you know, like health-wise, or emotionally, or socially, you know, romantically, um, all of that. There's, there's more. I could list more. There's lots of things that we can change about ourselves. Um, and the new year is a wonderful reminder of, of the things that we can change. It's a wonderful reminder to think about how you can be better, how you can improve yourself. And that's, you know, that's, that's, one of the wonderful things about being human is, is the opportunity to change and improve. Um, so, so yeah. And talking about those things that you can change, you know, whatever it is, whatever you're going to say, you know, New Year's Day, these are my resolutions and I'm sticking to it and I'm going to, I'm going to get them, you know, whatever those things are. Um, just, you know, don't let your first failure of those things, because you are going to fail sometimes. We all fail sometimes. So don't let your first failure be your final defeat, okay? Because no worthwhile journey was easy, 
and even the things that are capable of you know evolution those things they they are going to take time and they're going to take more than one one try and they're going to take effort um, so just keep trucking at those so two things just to summarize accept the things you cannot change and the things that you can change do change and you'll be the better for it but also cut yourself a little slack and accept yourself for where you're at and give yourself credit for for the things that you have already succeeded at and that you are that you are trying for you know give yourself credit for that um, because none of us are ever going to be perfect there will always be something to improve on and that's an exhausting thing and it's a beautiful thing and it's 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 a magical thing okay so um, I believe in me and I believe in you a lot I believe in you a lot and this year is gonna be better I can feel it especially for you it's gonna be so rad I know it I'm just getting that vibe um, so all the best